Hey everyone, in this video we are going to be looking on one of the application of uh, binary exponentiation which we saw in the last video. So this is known as large exponents modulo. So let me explain you the problem. Okay, so the problem is this. That we have to calculate a to the power b and then we have to mod this result with m. Some number m. Okay, so this type of problem you will see a lot in competitive programming like it will be given first you have to calculate some a to the power b and then it will be said that the number can be really large. So what you have to do is you have to mod it with uh, something like 10 raised to power 9 plus 7. We will talk later in later videos about this number that uh, why we are doing mod with this number specially. Okay, so let's look at this problem. And the second thing where this... Uh, application this thing is used is uh, modular multiplicative inverse okay so what is let me write it here modular multiplicative inverse okay so this thing is also used very frequently in competitive programming we will talk this thing about later in later videos okay so let's start so this is the problem with us that we have to calculate this and mod with them we cannot do it directly like we calculate a to the power b and then we mod directly no so there is a procedure uh, which we are gonna follow and i'll show you it by the code and i'll run an example for you so you can better understand it so let's look at the code so this is the code let me explain you the code Okay, so this is a C++ program. Uh, we are getting the header files here and the main function is right here. So let us start from here. So A is 2. A is 2. B is 5. And let's change this mode. Let me try changing this mode. Okay. So let's make it 10. So it will be easy to understand. Okay, so now... Let me open that screen sketch. Okay. So we have done it 10. Now A is 2. B is 5. And mod is 10. So the problem will be we have to find A to the power B. And then we have to mod with 10. So here A is 2. And this is 5. 2 raised to power 5 will be 32. And then mod with 10. Mod means it will give us a remainder. So we will get 2 as answer. Okay, so let me explain you how we are going to do this. So we have this uh, similar function from last time, which is fast power, this one. Okay, so fast power last time we saw it had only two parameters. This time we are adding one more parameter, the mode. So we are making sure first that A is in this range of mode. Means A should be less than this mode. A should be less than this mode. First we are making sure this thing. So what we are doing is A is equal to A mod with this M, M or mod, whatever you can call it. So first we are doing this step. Now next up RES, RES will contain our result, the answer which we will get. We are returning the result right here. And then we are running this loop similar to last time. So the condition is same, B is greater than zero. If B and one, so what does uh, what this mean is if b is odd so if b is odd we are going to do this so what it was last time was res equal to res into a but this time we have to make sure now this res stays in the limit of this mode so res should also stay in this limit of mode okay you can write it like this this condition we have to check uh, make sure that it occurs every time so what we are going to do we are going to do a mod with that number m okay so now similarly this thing b right shift to one uh, we have seen these in previous video bitwise operator if you haven't watched those video i'll share you the link in the description and yes so we are doing this thing now let me run this code and see if the answer is correct or not let me run it first. Okay, so we are getting this answer too. 
so right now you will be thinking like uh, this is not very useful but in the later videos when we'll solve some questions and we'll look at modular multiplicative inverse a lot of technique where this is used and this is very frequent in competitive programming so this is like fundamental we'll be using this later on so practice this thing write this code yourself i'll share you this code in the description below but first try to understand the concept and then write the code and then later on reference this code okay so thank you